To get premium trading and investing tips, support on Patreon. How's it going everybody and welcome to another market watch video guys today EA has released the base icon pack which is untradeable and non-repeatable uh, and it's up for five days so what this means is that you can only do it once there's not going to be the people that usually do it and do like 20 of these packs and uh, potentially just uh, bring the fodder up in value we're going to look at the fodder value prices as well but right now we can see at some of the requirements this uh, SBC currently costs between 550k and 600k on PlayStation. You need an 85 rated team. You need an 85 rated team uh, with uh, a team of the week card. And you actually need an 86 rated team and an 87 rated team, both with team of the week cards in it. Um, this is only an SBC that you can do once, you can't repeat it, and this means that the highest prices of the fodder should be tonight. But looking at some fodder right now, it's approximately an hour later, they're not rising as much. Just for example, if we check someone uh, that we actually went in and potentially buy over uh, on stream, uh, someone like Dybala, if I just go on the transfer market and check his value right now, um, he's going usually around 30k and uh, right now he's sitting there. He's not rising, people don't seem to be buying uh, and just shows how much uh, like people have over invested for this SBC. They waited and now they're all floating and I can see the panic happening on these cards. I bought a few on stream at 20, 29k, 28. I thought they're gonna go up, but at these patterns, I feel like they're gonna go lower. So I'm just gonna sell, take like 1k of L of the Dibalas that I bought on stream right now. Uh, but all in all, that doesn't matter. Uh, all in all, what matters is that we weren't heavily invested in the fodder. The only fodder that we holded was in our clubs, which we bought one of each for lower prices than this, of course. And we store the value in our clubs, which we can sell right now for good value. Um, and uh, I do think that the fodder will drop more and more into Friday and Friday is going to be the low point. So you guys will be able to restock on most of the fodder cards, 85, 86, 87, 89, uh, like all of these fodder cards, you'll be able to restock during the black. Black Friday lightning rounds. I feel like it's going to be very wise for you to do that because uh, as soon as we uh, get into the Footmas SBCs, uh, the Footmas period during the full December, most of these cards will start rising. Uh, and like, even if we look at the informs right now, I, I thought they're gonna at least those are gonna go up, but it doesn't feel like it. Like, for 550k, I would say that people would do this SBC, but again, it just shows how over invested the fodder is. Hummels, I am so glad I sold it. Like, I sold it at 38k. If you guys remember that, I even posted it up on... Uh, oh my god, like, he's even dropping right now. He's not even supplied. This is crazy. I mean, people have been over-investing too much. And I feel like tomorrow is going to be lower just because the SBC is not repeatable. I wouldn't wait and hold the fodder and hope that it rises up. If you have it right now, I really do think guys, you need to get out. Uh, even if you take an L because on Friday is going to get nasty. You rebuy it on Friday if you want for the fitness SBCs, but don't hold the fodder right now. We also see uh, a lot of the icons getting panic sold. Like, I don't know what price value was Larson. I feel like I was watching Okocha earlier and he was at a very, very low value. Uh, I have never seen the right mid baby Okocha at that specific price point. The Emprims has have also dropped the road breakers. I specifically saw him manage go down to 140. I bought it over the weekend at 145. Um, I do think for the Black Friday period, all of these are going to rise. The Icon SBC, I do think it had to be... Um, like it had to have uh, more requirements and it had to be repeatable so to be more appealing. Um, Jimenez is not up yet. He's up a bit. He was down to 140. Right now people are buying back. And I do think when Friday hits, most of the special cards, most of the big goals, if you didn't buy uh, at the panic, uh, where it was like Mbappe, Varane was down to 230, Mbappe was under 1.3 mil. If you didn't buy that panic uh, right now when the SBC dropped, you probably missed the window. Everything is going slightly up right now and everything should rise nicely uh, on Friday after the Black Friday. So if you were in the stream, you reacted accordingly. That's why I need to repeat it, guys. Streams, Monday to Friday, 5.30 p.m. UK time. Uh, a lot of coins have been made. 
Uh, I uh, unfortunately bought Dybala, which was a bad, bad call, but I had only 100k because I'm fully invested in these past informs for after the Black Friday period where uh, I expect to profit a lot. Uh, today is also the games with the Road to Final cards. If you hold those, good luck. I hope some of them, uh, their clubs perform well and they do good. Uh, if they do, you should be profiting even further. If you don't know when to sell them, uh, yesterday I posted a video where I talked about it, so make sure to check that one out. Um, if, yeah, guys, we're making very good coins right now. Those are crazy, crazy um, times which you have to exploit. And on streams, I usually stream at 6 p.m. UK time when stuff like this happens. That's why I stream at that time, so I can guide you and I can tell you, you know, there's panic. You need to get in right now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are doing well with trading. Get ready for that Black Friday because on Black Friday, we're going to get a lot of good deals. There's going to be a lot of panic. There's going to be a lot of overselling and a lot of um, low points for most of the medium gold rare cards as i was predicting the ones that are not going to be out of pack so that's going to be a very good time to go in and buy make sure to not miss my streams make sure to be on thursday in the stream because uh, i'm going to talk a lot to prepare you on what you can go in if you have a lot of coins as well just don't miss that we're going to be in there i'm going to bring you all the updates and i hope you guys are continuing doing mad coins have a good one and see you tomorrow cheers